I work in a nursing home, I'm a nurse. The nursing home itself is run by nuns, but everyone else I work with are just lay people. There'd be that religious side of it, you know, because of the sisters. They'd often say, oh, have you got a boyfriend now? And I'd be like, oh, no boyfriend, no, because I feel like at least I'm not lying to them. I've decided not to be open about my sexual orientation working there. I just kind of focus on why I'm there. I don't let my own life come into it as such. When full marriage was passed in the UK, it was on the television in the community room and one of the nuns was kind of watching the television and she was like, oh my God, why would anyone want to marry someone of the same sex? You could tell by her she was slightly disgusted. It just confirms why I can't really come out in that environment. I don't feel I'd be accepted, you know. One of the nurses got engaged a couple of weeks ago and, you know, she was really happy and everyone is delighted for her. I've been with my partner for six and a half years now. If we were to become engaged, I think I'd be kind of nearly upset that I couldn't share that. You're in work 40 hours a week, so, you know, it's a long time to not talk about something or keep something a secret. On the first day, I had to really try and come out to everyone and make sure that everyone knew that I was trans and, and what pronouns to use. It was quite a healthy environment as far as everyone wanted to know how to make me feel welcome. I was going about business as usual and the assistant manager called me by a female version of my name. And when I explained that that wasn't my name and told the manager I was trans, uh, he went, well, it's your name for today. When it first happened, I assumed that he didn't know I was trans and that he thought I was a girl. That was fine and I just figured I'd have to explain it. When he reacted badly, I just decided I was going to avoid him for the day. I was kind of thinking, well, does this even count as bullying? Because it's a once-off. When you make a complaint to bed an assistant manager, you don't know how the company's going to react in the first place, especially when it's around gender identity. The next day, my boss called me in early. He said, did anything happen the last time you were working? I kind of explained what happened. He said, look, I filed a formal complaint on your behalf and one of the other members of staff has also filed a complaint. It's going to be dealt with very seriously. I never expected such support from the other members of staff. So although what he said and what he did was horrible, I ended up getting more support from the fact that he did it. And I don't think anything like that could ever have happened in the future. And I think that's really great. I was working in a clothes shop. My job was to help the customers on the floor. If they needed anything, I would get it for them. I can remember just having a bad day anyway. It was raining, it was horrible. A group of lads walked past, calling me a faggot. I had kind of learned to just brush it off, you know. I was walking past the escalators then, and I just felt this big drop of something wet on my face and I just couldn't believe that I'd spit running down my forehead, down my nose, onto my cheeks. I just saw the same colours as one of them was wearing. It was a red jumper. They just legged it. Something inside of me just kind of snapped, I suppose, and I just started crying. I just felt lessened as a human, and I was just like... I was just really upset. I just looked like the average work person, like... So how did they know I was gay? Like, just standing there working, how did they know? I thought I had left all that abuse behind me and obviously I know that it's going to be out on the streets and it's going to be going through my park, I'm still going to get it. But not in a workplace, I wasn't expecting it at all. I eventually did go to my duty manager and told her what happened. She was like, you should have came to me straight away and those lads would have been kicked out and barred. Like, she just made me feel so much better. It made me feel like if that ever happened again, that I could go to someone who was higher up than me and tell them about it. I'm a primary school teacher and I have been working in religious run schools since I graduated about two and a half years ago. So I'm still waiting for a permanent job. Every time I go to a new school, I have to decide if I'm going to 
tell the truth from the beginning or avoid as many questions as possible until I get to know people. It's very hard to separate your personal life with conversation in the staff room. The conversations that they seem so relaxed in are the conversations that make you panic the most. Because I'm a teacher in a religious school, it could have an effect on my contract, on my job. They always say the ethos includes diversity and respect and including every child, but it doesn't really talk about the teachers. When I do come out in a school, I find that people stop asking you what you did for your weekend or where you were, or who you were with, and they might skip you in a conversation altogether. They just don't know how open they can be in a staff room situation. You feel invisible. You feel that you can't contribute to any conversation. So you slowly feel like you're slipping away and that nobody can see you. How can you talk about your life without mentioning your relationships? So even when people start to really like you on a superficial level, part of me thinks, well, they don't really know me. That is very isolating and you do start to feel like, why am I not as valued as a straight teacher in the classroom next door doing exactly the same job as I am? If you go from a school where it's presumed that you're straight to another school where there are posters on the wall saying these are grounds of discrimination that we do not tolerate, it gives you this instant feeling that there's backup there. You don't realise how much support is out there for you. I just would not be out if my trade union didn't have an LGBT group to support me. When you do come out to your colleagues and they do ask you about your weekend or your partner, you feel like a whole person again. And it means that when you're in school, your mind is on the job instead of checking yourself to make sure that you aren't giving away the fact that you're gay.